Welcome to Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. My name is Corey and today we're going to talk about the Inegra Basalt Layup from H2O Canoe Company's Epoxy Pro Series. When we're talking about layups, what we're referring to is how the boat's made and the materials that are involved in building that canoe. This boat itself, as I mentioned, is the Basalt Inegra Layup. Your Negra material is a new material that's being used to make canoes. It's also being used in the SUP industry and eventually will be transferred into the kayak industry. The Negra itself in its simplest form is basically a plastic that they've managed to weave down into a fiber. That way it can saturate resin and become a composite material. The basalt portion is actually a volcanic rock that they crush down and weave that into the fiber as well. The idea being basalt is a stiff, a stiffener, and your enegra is more of a flexible material that really improves impact resistance that you will get if you come up onto the shore heavy or you hit a rock or some of those overgrown launch points where you are kind of dragging the boat in and out of the water a little bit more. The enegra itself is a lighter material, so it makes a lightweight canoe, and very much like Kevlar, it absorbs energy from impacts. So the story on this type of layup is it builds the strongest lightweight canoe. There are lighter options available in the Epoxy Pro Series being your clear coat Kevlar or even your clear coat straight carbon. But as you move to those lighter layups, your dur durability starts to go down a little bit. When we look at this boat itself in the Epoxy Pro Series, all those canoes the Inegra Basalt, your Kevlar, and your Carbon will all have a clear coat on the outside. So the outside is a clear coat epoxy. It is not your traditional gel coat that you will find on some other layups from H2O Canoe Company and other manufacturers. When you move to a clear coat and you get rid of that gel coat, what happens is you shed about eight pounds on average. So it does make for a lighter boat. And then when you combine that with the materials used in this, so again that enegra and the basalt, you have that lightweight boat, but it's still very strong. When this boat is being made in the enegra basalt, you have essentially three layers. On the inside, you have your enegra basalt cloth. On the outside, you will also have your enegra basalt cloth. And sandwiched in between them will be your Kevlar. The idea being is because Inegra does flex a lot, when you put the Kevlar in there combined with your basalt rock, it improves the stiffness but keeps weights down. So that being said, if you're looking for a colored option of a boat, you won't get it in a, in a build like this because it's strictly a clear coat where you see the natural fabric on the, the outside as well as the inside. Features of a boat like this that comes standard is you do have that ICG gunnel system or your integrated composite gunnel. What that means is the inner rail of the gunnel is actually incorporated into the mold. When you do that so you don't have the gunnel added after the fact, um, you have a much stiffer build before you've even installed seats, your, uh, your yoke or even your thwart. It is still a stiff canoe because that um, ICG gunnel is a foam core that's been saturated with resin so it's very very stiff but it's also very very light again why this boat can get down into that say 39 38 even down to about 35 pounds with some of the models depending on that model if it's a keel boat or a keelless boat on the outside of your ICG gunnel you do have an anodized aluminum rail and it is raised a little bit. The reason it's raised is because when you're taking that boat on and off racks on the car or even in storage, when you're rubbing it against your rack, it's actually just gonna hit the anodized aluminum and not the cloth portion so you're not wearing your cloth down over time. Other things that you find in a boat like this is you do have that foam core on the inside, just like your ICG gunnel. It's a foam core that's been infused with resin and it's all one solid piece. So very, very strong for any impacts that you can get on the hull um, and increases the stiffness as you paddle. So less flex, less energy absorption while you're paddling. 
New for this year in this boat series is you do have structural ribs along the wall of the canoe as well as that foam core. So stiff hull and an even stiffer wall as well. Again, because Kevlar and the Enegra are a flexible material, um, it will want to flex a little bit. So improving the stiffness improves the efficiency of the boat overall. In a boat like this, from us as Frontenac Outfitters being H-Tool's largest and original H-Tool dealer, they come stock with your kneeling fork as well as the five finger hand grips bow and stern. Those two features right there, if you were to upgrade it from a traditional boat, you're looking at about $160 value there, whereas in a boat like this it's passed along for free to you. When we talk about resins and how the, the resin improves a boat like this, resin in its simplest form is the glue that puts all the materials together. When you're into the clear coat epoxy series or the epoxy pro series from H2O, what he's using is strictly epoxy resins. So epoxy resins is sort of the pinnacle of all your resins. You'll have epoxy, you'll have vinyl ester, and then you have polyester at the, the low end of things. The benefit to an epoxy resin is it's lighter, but it also has flex to it. Whereas vinyl ester and polyester resins are very, very rigid when they harden. You get a boat like this that has cloth that wants to flex and absorb energy from impacts, you need your resin to flex as well, otherwise you can risk cracking the boat. So this again is the Enegra Basalt layup from H2O Canoe Company in their Epoxy Pro series. You can get any of their models made in this layup and that will kind of satisfy you in terms of if you want a real fast boat but you want it really light or maybe you just want that cottage boat that's still easy to muster on and off the shore for young kids or something like that. Again, I'm Corey from Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center and if you want to come on out and try one of these new Enegra Basalt boats, just come on out. We do free test paddling six days a week and we're more than happy to have you come play on the water. Thanks a lot.